In this video, I'll be using group policy to configure Microsoft Edge to only allow access to specific web pages. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Microsoft Edge settings via group policy. And here you can see the objective for this video. First, I will be blocking access to all web pages, and then I will be configuring allow list to allow Google, YouTube, and also DuckDuckGo. And also here you can find all the policy settings and the values that I will be using in this video. And now I will begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy, so I will go to Tools Group Policy Management, I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings, and then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects, I will select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it, select Edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my computer, so I will go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, and then I will click on Microsoft Edge. And then I will scroll down, and here we have these two settings right here. So first I will be blocking access, so I will click on Block Access to a list of URLs, so I will click on this setting, I will enable it, and then I will click on Show, and here for the value I will enter star. And star means that we want to block everything, then I will click OK, Apply, and OK. And now we need to create a list of URLs that we want to allow, so here I will click on Define List of Allowed URLs, I will click on it, I will once again enable this policy and click on Show. And then here I will enter google.com. Next one is youtube.com. And the last one is duckduckgo.com. Then I will click on OK, apply, and OK. And that's basically it for configuring this policy. I will close this window, go to details. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to deploy the settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called computers and it is holding all the computers in my domain. So I'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Microsoft Edge. And let's try going to wikipedia.org. As you can see, currently it is working. And that's because even though I created the group policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. So I'll do it manually, and for that I will go to my start menu, search for CMD. Here I will type GP update, press enter, and wait a bit. And as you can see, if the policy update was successful, if I go back to Microsoft Edge, and refresh this page, you can see that wikipedia.org is currently blocked. Let's try going to Facebook. You can see that facebook.com is also blocked, but if I try going to Google, Google seems to be working just fine. We can also search for Wikipedia here. It gives us the links, but if I click on any of them, you can see that all websites are blocked. Now if I go to DuckDuckGo, it works just fine. Once again, we can search for Wikipedia. It gives us the search results, but if we click on any of them, you can see that the website is blocked. And that means that the policy is working just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.